Hey guys, this is Lynn and welcome back to my channel. Nowadays, almost everyone is going online in terms of personal or even businesses. But across internet, there are so many applications to interact with. Like in social media, there are Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, Instagram, Pinterest, and many more. So if you posted a picture on Facebook, you also wanted to put it on your Instagram or Twitter. So you have to do it manually. So now, let's talk about automation. I will introduce to you this tool that can do these things for you. This tool that I'm talking about is Zapier. So today, I will be showing you how to use this tool called Zapier. So what is Zapier? So it is a tool that allows you to hook or link two or more programs together. It automates this program so that you don't have to do it one by one, so you literally save time. So in their website at zapier.com, you can use already formulated zaps or create your own. So what is a zap? So a zap is a motion or workflow that connects your apps so they can work together automatically. Now we are here at their website at zapier.com. So we have to sign up for the account so we can continue. So we can click on this get started free and supply the details needed or you can just click on connect with your google account so i'll just click on this one i'll just choose an account so now we are here at the zapier dashboard as you can see here below there are literally thousands of zaps that you can use but if you want you can make your own zap so let's click on this make a zap we can choose an application that we want to interact with zapier let's try my twitter so let's choose a trigger Let's click on this, my tweet. So this triggers when you tweet something new. Let's click on continue. And then we have to give permission to Zapier. So let's sign in to Twitter. So let's click on this, continue. And authorize app. So there you have it. So let's click on continue. We can click on this, test trigger. So these are the data that have been collected from my Twitter account by Zapier. So this ensures that Zapier is collecting data from the right account. So let's click on continue. So we can choose the app that we wish to send the actions at. So I'll just click on my Dropbox. These are the actions that can be done to our Dropbox. So I'll just click on this one, Create Folder. Let's click on Continue. So, I just have to give Zapier the permission to my Dropbox. So, I have to sign in. Okay, there you have it. Let's click on continue. So, these two are the required field. The folder and the folder name. So, let's click on this. So, I've already created folder for this one so this folder name let's click on it so 
So let's click on my tweet and Twitter. Let's just click on this one, text. Okay. So let's click on continue. So there you have it. So let's click on test and review. So we can check if this is working. A test folder was sent to Dropbox just now. So let's check our Dropbox. Let's click on my Dropbox. Twitter files. Okay, so there it is. So Zapier actually works. So let's click on Done Editing. So you have to click this one, Turn Zap On. Alright. So your Zap is on. So let's click on this, go to My Zaps. So as you can see on the Zaps option here, at home, there is our Zap. So actually you can rename this one. Just click on this. At the upper left corner, you can name your Zap. So let's just put in Twitter to Dropbox. So there you have it. The name of our Zap is Twitter to Dropbox. So here it is. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys find this video informative. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys and thank you so much for watching.